Hi everyone, I'll show you how to edit your scanned or photographed traditional art with Photoshop for prints, print on demand, or for social media or your website. If you don't have Photoshop, you can start a free 7 day trial, which you can cancel at any time before the 7 days are up. Adobe also has student discounts and different bundles and offers, which I link to below in the description or somewhere on the video if you want to buy Photoshop. The links are affiliate links, so if you do end up buying a subscription through them, I'll get a commission, which helps me out in making more content for you and no extra cost to you. I started by scanning this oil painting, or actually two oil paintings. You should scan in at least 300 dpi resolution for prints, but I usually do a bit higher than that, like 600. If you are taking a photo, use natural light preferably and a large file size. Have the camera on a tripod or a stand and use a timer for taking the photo, so pushing the button won't shake the camera as the photo is being taken. So when you've opened the scan or photo in Photoshop, you can click on the magnifying glass icon to use the zoom tool to zoom in. Press Alt when using the zoom tool to zoom out. Let's start with the levels to make the darks darker and the highlights lighter. You can adjust the levels at Image, Adjustments, Levels. Click the lightest area with the white eyedropper and the darkest area with the black eyedropper. You can toggle between the before and after by ticking the preview on and off. When you are happy with the result, click OK. Next, let's do contrast, add image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. Use the sliders to adjust them and the preview to compare the before and after. You'll also want to sharpen the image and you can do that at Filter, Sharpen, Unsharp Mask. You can play with the amount, radius and threshold and see the result preview zoomed in in the little window. Try to make it as sharp as possible but without making it look grainy. The scanner often makes the colors kind of dull so you can fix that by adjusting the vibrancy and saturation at Image, Adjustments, Vibrance. You can play with the sliders to adjust both vibrance and saturation to make the image look as close to the original artwork as possible. Or if it's a grayscale image, you can get rid of the blue, yellow and red tones and so on by turning it grayscale at Image, Mode, Grayscale. If you've taken a photo under warm or yellow lighting especially, you'll want to adjust the temperature at Image, Adjustments, Photo Filters. And in the case of warm lighting, you can choose the cooling filter to get rid of the overall yellow tone of the image. And vice versa, if the image looks too blue, you can use the warming filter. For this scan though, I don't need a filter. You can also further adjust the shadows and highlights if needed at Image, Adjustments, Shadows slash Highlights. Turning the shadow slider right will make the shadows lighter and left will make them darker. Whereas turning the highlights slider right makes them darker and left makes them lighter. You can fix small mistakes and remove dust particles from the scanner or bristles fallen from the paintbrush with the spot healing brush tool from the left toolbar. Adjust the size and hardness from the top bar. I'll make it pretty small since the imperfections are also small and set the hardness to zero so it doesn't leave any visible hard edges but blends into the painting. And then just find and click the areas you want to fix. Photoshop will erase the mistakes and blend those parts into the surrounding areas. The scan or photo might have white edges around it and the artwork might be tilted one way or the other. And you can fix that with the crop tool from the left toolbar. Just drag the corners to the right size and you can rotate the image by pressing and dragging the image with the mouse. When you're done, hit enter or click the check mark in the top bar. You can always undo with Ctrl Z. Mm -hmm. 
If you're making prints of your art, you might want to check what it looks like in CMYK color mode, which is used for printing. Your scan or photo will probably be in RGB color space, which has more shades and some of them are brighter or more saturated than in the CMYK color space. I'll talk about this more in an upcoming video, but for now, if you want to check what your art looks like in CMYK color mode, here's how to do it in Photoshop. Go to Image, Mode, CMYK color. For this image, the difference is not huge. Some colors are a little less saturated, but it doesn't bother me. How big the difference is depends on the colors you've used. You will need to upload an RGB color mode image to many print-on-demand sites though. I'll just go ahead and save the RGB one and not care about the CMYK version. But if yours looks too dull, you can pump up the vibrance and saturation more at this stage. Save the image at File, Save As and choose the format. You can save as PNG or JPEG. If I use layers while editing, I'll also save the PSD file, which is the Photoshop file format that keeps the layers, so I can open the image in Photoshop later and keep editing the different layers, if I need to. Stay tuned for more Photoshop tutorials for editing your art for prints and print on demand. The next video will be about making a transparent background for your art. I also want to mention that you can do all of this with free software as well. I have a bunch of GIMP tutorials on this channel to help you edit your art for free. Click on the videos on the screen for more editing tips. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye!